The Nigerian novelist Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie recently said that so many of the world's ills can be traced to the danger of a single story, a story that mis misleads us to believe only one thing about an entire people, country, or culture. Were we to listen to the dominant single story of immigrant workers in this country, for example, we would come away with the impression that such people were irresponsible, criminal, lazy, and greedy. The perpetrators of so-called chain migration, we have bled this country dry and stolen the jobs of hardworking white Americans. We are a burden and contribute nothing but disease, pain, and poverty. But I know a different story. My parents are immigrants from the Philippines. My dad is a retired cook, and my mom a retired meatpacking plant worker. They work 10 to 16 hour days for most of my life yet we're unable to afford anything more than public housing. <coughs> we have, in fact, lived in the same community housing project now since 1987. Whatever they were able to put by, they poured into putting me and my sister <coughs> through college. And today, my sister and I are both college professors. <laughs> Now, I happen to know this alternative story because I come from the very people about whom the single story is told. The power of film is that it can amplify that alternative story and broadcast it to large numbers of people. The power of this conference is that it tells multiple stories that short circuit the one being told by the White House. By the River I Stand shows that what was responsible for the Memphis sanitation strike was not the meddling of outside agitators or of uppity black garbage men, but the epic stubbornness of the mayor, the cowardice of the city council, and the bigotry of their constituents. Nine to Five teaches us that the nationwide struggle of clerical workers did not end with the backlash of the Reagan era, but lives on in a new generation of women freedom fighters in childcare and food service. Both films teach us that workers can win when we stand in solidarity with women and people of color. Yeah. This film conference is important because the labor movement is engaged in a struggle against nothing less than what the Italian revolutionary Antonio Gramsci called common sense. This conference offers an alternative common sense, a people's story about capitalist greed, about the courage of workers to stand up to their bosses, about the shocking indignities that working people must face on a daily basis, and about the enduring power of collective struggle. On this, the second day of our conference, we will discuss how we can collect, preserve, and disseminate film and worker voices to steel ourselves against the danger of the single story.